Hi, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I am going to show you today how to uh, turn this into this. Super easy. Uh, and it's just a neat technique. Um, so before we go any further, subscribe now. I come out with new videos, I don't know, once a week or so. Um, just ways to make you a better designer, whether it be in Cricut Design Space or externally in programs like Inkscape to bridge some of those gaps, those design gaps that Design Space has. So like I said, subscribe now. Also, um, join me on Facebook. We have an excellent group, about 120,000 people now. Um, it's called Cricut and Silhouette for Beginners. I'll link it in the description. Join us. You'll love it. They're super friendly, super helpful, super knowledgeable. So let's go ahead and get started. We can delete this one. This is super easy. So what you want to do, take this. Oops. Let's move this over here. So you want to take this and take your text. And with your text selected, click curve. You're going to want to curve it more than you would think that it should be curved. Because when you bring the letter spacing in together, um, it kind of flattens that curve. So go up to letter space with it still selected. Go up to letter space right here. Click on that. You know it's going to be less than zero. So start at zero. Okay, and then go down from there. And I will link this. Um, the sunflower wreath is absolutely beautiful. And I will, it actually comes in a set of three. I will link that in the description. Also, this font, the font that I'm using here is called uh, Salty Dish. And it is by one of my absolute favorite font designers, uh, Missy Meyer. I will link that in the description as well. So you can see here that's almost perfect. You can see there's a little bit of a, a nick there that I'd like to try to get rid of. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to select my curve again. And I'm going to try pulling my curve out just a little bit to kind of straighten it out. Now, every once in a while, you're going to have to um, ungroup your letters, which you would do by right clicking and click ungroup and just move one around. So like that A, let's just move that just a tiny little bit. Oh didn't have to actually, but, but you can see what I'm saying where sometimes one of them will be just a little bit off um, and you'll have to manually move that and that's not a big deal. So we'll go ahead and weld that together. Okay. And now what you want to do is you want to select it and turn it just a little bit there we go, and take it and put it right on here and kind of like turn it so that it fits that path perfectly. There you go. And now you're going to want to make yourself a square. And take your square right here. Now right click it, send to back so that you can see what you're doing. Put that right up against that side. And against that side. A little bit too big. Okay. And now what you want to do is with your square selected, then select also your wreath. So your wreath and your square are the only two. You can see over here on the right, the only two layers selected, wreath and the square. Click slice. You have to make sure that you're not also selecting your text. If you select your text also, slice will not be lit up. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that leaves you with just that. Cut it just a little bit too small, so I'll make that just a little bit smaller. There you go. That is almost perfect. There you go. And then select all of that, weld it together, and there you go. That's all there is to it. Super easy, super fun. Um, I want to show you guys a cute idea that I had for this. So um, let's see where I put it. It's not in it. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, here it is. Sorry about that. Okay, so check this out. Isn't that cute just to put the little birth announcement inside of it? How cute would that be on a little, like a blanket for a baby? So that's it. Um, make sure you do subscribe. Like I said, new videos coming out once a week or so. And join us on Facebook. You'll love it there. Okay, have a good day. Bye.